The New York Rangers have made a trade sending over prospect Jaden Grube to the Edmonton Oilers for a fifth round pick in this year's draft. And, you know, it's kind of an interesting thing what happened here with Jaden. And he was obviously a 2021 third round pick of the New York Rangers uh, playing in the WHL for ID Rebels. And we'll get to his kind of stats in a second. But the Rangers, his rights were going to expire for Jaden. So the Rangers didn't want to sign him for whatever reason. They kind of went out a month or so ago and kind of said they weren't going to re-sign him. So they ended up trading him for a fifth round pick. And this is kind of what I expected to happen. I expected the Rangers to try and move him for a mid round pick because he had a great year. He had a solid year. But the Rangers did not want to sign him for whatever reason. And um, at least they get a pick here, get a fifth rounder for this year's draft. It's a good draft. Obviously, a fifth round pick is it is what it is. It's not a whole lot, but it's definitely better than getting him for nothing. And, you know, in a rain and draft where the Rangers only have four picks, this is nice to add another pick in there in the middle rounds. And, um, you know, just have some more picks because it's nice to have, you know, you can never have too many picks is what I'm trying to say here. You can never have too many picks and getting a fifth rounder for a guy who you were going to lose for nothing is better than losing him for nothing, right? Even though he had a great year and I kind of thought the Rangers should have probably signed him. But anyways, that is what it is. Uh, taking a look at what's going on here with uh, Jaden Grubb though. He's a solid player, 20 years old, doesn't turn 21 until January. He's a 6'3", 203-pound centerman, and um, you know, taken with the 65th overall pick back in 2021, so an early third rounder as well. Um, he's known for his two-way game, a really good defensive guy, good on face-off, strong on the puck, um, really intelligent, you know, for just a pretty pretty solid two-way centerman at, at the at the WHL level, was a pretty great player. Um, went on a decent run with uh, you know, with with the Red Deer Rebels this year. He's been the captain of that team for the past three seasons. This season had 67 points in 64 games played. 18 goals, 49 assists as a 20-year-old, so was kind of older, and that's probably why the Rangers are moving on from him. Um, this year, 12 games played in the playoffs, two goals, 14 assists, 16 points. Um, he, he's a solid player. Like season last year, though, season before that, had only 35 points in 68 games played. So maybe this is a one and done kind of year, and that's why the Rangers are looking to move on. And I mean, that's kind of fair. That's probably why you know he hasn't really proven it for like a couple seasons. He only had one big big year, and um, it was still only 67 points as a 20 year old, which is honestly not the greatest thing in the world. You'd like to see him be like more like 75 kind of thing plus. But he's still a solid prospect, and getting a fifth rounder for the Rangers is not the worst thing in the world. It just does suck that you gave up a third round pick to draft him in the first place, and you ended up only getting a fifth for him in return. But anyways, it is a solid trade for the Rangers, and the Rangers now going to this draft with a first rounder the avalanches third rounder and um the rangers well the, the oilers fifth rounder now and uh the rangers have their own sixth and winnipeg sixth so going with the draft with fifth five picks now is pretty good and definitely better than going to the draft with only four anyways guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have please smash the like button and definitely comment down your guys thoughts on this deal for the rangers because as a Rangers fan, I think it's an all right deal. It sucks to be you know, drafting him for a third round pick, but at least we got a pick back and didn't get rid of him for nothing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and see ya.